How do we determine the proper rent to recommend that you charge for your property? Renting a home is a lot like selling a home in that we need to do our due diligence to make sure we're coming up with the, the best price so we don't end up leaving some money on the table or overpricing the property. We use four factors in determining the marketability of the price that you should be considering. First is location. We do a detailed market analysis of comparable properties that have rented within the past year that are in the same area of Hampton Roads as your place. In other words, if you have a home in Suffolk, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to use a home in Virginia Beach of similar size and features as a comparable. Next we look at condition. Now, we do an on-site inspection of the property and we look at the features that will either add or subtract from the value of your home as a rental. Unlike location, which we can't improve, we may be able to make some suggestions to you as to uh, changes or improvements that will improve the marketability of the property. Some people's decorating schemes are a little more colorful than others. Please don't be offended if we make some suggestions that may include a more neutral decor, like sandstone or something like that. Please remember that everything in the house that is left for the tenant must be in working order and unless especially detailed in the rental agreement, the owner is will always be responsible for maintaining them. We need to look at competition. We need to look at how many comparable properties are currently on the market in near proximity to your house and how long they've been on the market and what features and benefits they might have. I do my best to put myself in the place of a tenant who has a fixed amount of money when I'm looking at, at recommending a price for your uh, rental. If, say for example, I'm recommending a price of $1,700 or $1,700 looks like it should be about where this property should be. I like to go go on the MLS and see what I can get for $1,700 and if there's a lot of houses out there that offer more than yours does for the same amount of money then we might need to make an adjustment. Rental price. We'd like to meet with you weigh the pros and cons and determine the starting asking price. Some of the factors that we're going to use in recommending the rental rate is uh, the median rental rate per square foot of comparable houses, the rental rate versus value of comparable houses, number of comparable rental properties in proximity to your house, and I should say that I'm sorry but your mortgage payment is not a factor in determining a competitive rental rate. It may be a factor in determining if you can afford to rent your house or not, but it is not a factor in determining rent. Lastly, you should always remember that we work for you. We suggest prices. You make the final decision. If your final decision varies greatly from what our recommendation is, we may point that out to you that the likelihood of you running the place is going to be fairly slight. Most of the time, to tell you the truth, we usually find that uh, uh, the, the price that we recommend is actually higher than the owner was expecting to get for the property. If you have any more questions about how we determine price or other aspects of how we do business, I hope you'll give me a call. Here's my contact information. My name is Lynn Albert Smith and I'm the Director of uh, Business Development for JJC Management. Uh, I can be reached pretty much any time. Give me a call on my direct line, send me a text, call me at the office, send me an email, just call me. I am a, a licensed broker in the state of Virginia. Thanks so much.